know less about, but they've each had at least one standout monologue that tells us a lot that we can sort of play with until we get more information. Beartolt is a gentle giant who we associate with godlike power that he only uses in small, sluggish doses as the uh, colossal titan. He has none of the boldness and precision control we associate with Mikasa. He is the body in a different way, a big, heavy, lumbering, silent way. But in the one moment we see him crack and start weepily defending his actions, he hedges it all in language of survival. I did what I had to do to survive. I kicked in the wall and I started a war responsible for thousands of deaths because I and my village had to survive. I, you know, he, he doesn't express regret. He might have it, but he doesn't express regret. He expresses pity um, for the people who died. And pity, you know, arises out of, um, you know, you, you see a bug that gets rained on or you have to crush or throw out of the house and you pity it, you know, and it's like, well, I did what I had to survive. I crushed this spider and, you know, etc. If it was poisonous spider. I don't know, my metaphor is getting away from me, but it's interesting that he says, that he says, I feel pity and he doesn't say I feel regret. So it's a clear reflection, both equal and opposite to the strengths and weaknesses we see in Mikasa. Finally, there's Reiner, which, oh boy, where Aaron is a spirit devoted to one vision, Reiner is both twice as strong and twice as weak in spirit because he's devoted to two visions. He's got a split personality, uh, which was created to reconcile his actions and his dual species with his morals and convictions, which are deeply ingrained in him, very important to him, because he's driven by his spirit, just like Eren. As a titan, Reiner is a warrior, and he lives by the code of a warrior, the, the language he uses. As a human, he's a soldier, and he lives by the code of a soldier, and he's very good at both of them. Now, when spoken aloud, it seems like complete madness. You are constantly betraying one to serve the other. But in his own heart, it makes sense to him, and that's what's kept him going through all the awful things that he's done. To him, two different people from two different species were doing those things. The two different people were, become, were acting as the paragon of their own sides. And that's fucked up, but, you know, it works for him. I wonder how that's going to resolve itself in the future. Okay, now I'm all tightened the fuck out. It's a great series, and I'm eagerly looking forward to more of it. See you in the next video, which will be more of a video, I promise. And uh, I'm going to Japan, so sayonara, bye-bye.